everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Rachel Clark and I am here again with my good friend, Dr. Bobby Whitaker. And we are here to talk to you about using essential oils in this cold and flu season. Man, everybody is getting hit with this stuff. Oh man, I know, it's everywhere. Oh wow. Um, it's crazy. So anyway, one of the things that is most important though, um, essential oils are amazing. They are so beneficial, so many uses, um, but is nutrition. Yeah. Yeah, You're all about, gotta, you know nutrition. You got to start with the foundation. <laughs> if you miss the nutrition, you're missing out, right? Yes. yes. So, um, yeah, you're right. X and Plus, um, Smart Mix, Super Mix, it all is good. Mm -hmm. um, just depends on if you're caffeine sensitive or not. But definitely you want to get that into your body first thing. First yes. thing. And honestly, like you always do extra if you're mm -hmm. sick, if you're feeling like something's coming on. The good old um, Moringa Oleifera. Yeah, Moringa Oleifera, yes. all the nutrition, all the anti-inflammatories. Um, it just helps your immune system to function mm -hmm. better, more yes. optimally, right? And when you are feeling that crud, you want to start in on it really quickly and get that into your system. Well, and I will yeah. say that I used to, I would be like the first one. It seemed like if there was something going around that I would oh. get sick and I would have it for weeks at a time and I would always lose my voice. I mean, I how many yeah. <laughs> are you losing your voice? It's crazy. I would be without a voice for like at least a week. And <laughs> now granted, I'm sure my husband thoroughly enjoyed it, <laughs> um, but I was in <clears throat> outside sales and stuff, so it made it very difficult for me and was just very annoying. And yeah. I will say that once I started this journey, it's been almost three years, uh, three years now since I started uh, with the great nutrition that Moringa Oliveira offers, that if I do get sick, it's nowhere near as bad as what it used to be. So right. definitely awesome. nutrition. Nutrition, it's, hydrate yourself, yes. do the basics, right? Get plenty of rest, um, try to stay well rested, keep the stress levels down. As we all know, that's mm -hmm. when you tend to get those bugs is when the stress levels are running high and you're getting like three or four or five hours of sleep a night. Mm -hmm. So um, be careful with all that. Try to get your rest as much as you can. Get that nutrition in, get the water in, drink that water as much as you can. They say take your body weight, mm -hmm. half it. That's how many ounces of water you want to really shoot for every single day. Mm -hmm. So we all know that's kind of a challenge. So we help keep yourselves accountable, have yes. an accountability <laughs> buddy and say, hey, don't forget that water. Well, and it's it's so important to really watch your intake of sugar yeah, that, too. that can be so damaging yeah. and just junk food overall. I yeah. mean, I'm telling you, that is one thing that I've really changed in my life too is um, how I eat and what I'm yeah. putting in my body because yeah. I can put all the best nutrition in the world in my body but if I am still eating junk and a lot of sugar it's really not going to do that much good I mean you yeah, just got to make true. the changes you gotta both. yeah um when I was telling somebody the other day you know fungi and bacteria and viri they all love sugar right so if we can eat less of that, those things get starved. You know, mm -hmm. nourish your body with the protein and the good stuff, the good fats, right? And the good nutrition from veggies and fruits. But starve your body, um, not starve your body, starve the bad guys, right? Starve the bad guys because they love the sugar. So if you're not taking that stuff in, they mm -hmm. start to not like it, mm -hmm. right? And so they don't do so well. Yes. And But you do, and your immune system does so much better. Right, so, and it's about making stuff. little changes and little changes. also, um, I don't starve myself. I like to eat, my husband likes to eat. We just change up, you know, how we do things and so I don't ever feel deprived. So yeah. anyway, that is something for another show. We'll do some recipe <laughs> um, little clips yeah. on that, um, for sure. Yeah, because okay. I love trying out new recipes. So um, let's get to some oils, okay. alrighty? Um, we talked last, uh, the last one that we did about Pro Shield, which is one of our favorite oils to have on hand this time of year has a mixture um has like clove in it and yeah just yeah. so many great uses and mm -hmm. this is a great one to diffuse 
Um, you can also make a uh, cleaning spray out of it. Right. I use a little bit of rubbing alcohol, distilled water. I think it's about 15, 20 drops of the um, Pro Shield, and I clean my house with it, wipe down the counters with it. Um, and that way I know there's no toxins, none of those chemicals in it, and it's killing germs. So that's definitely a must have this time of year. Yeah, I agree. Um, this one is a good one. Like Rachel had made me that sugar scrub. I swear that has changed my life. <laughs> um, every, every time I run out of it now, I just make it again and I add different oils and just try out different ones. But this is a great one. Um, actually, I added clove, but it's this pretty much the same thing. This has cinnamon and clove mm -hmm. in it. And so it's great for the immune system. And that's a great way because you're, it has the coconut oil. So it really helps it to get and penetrate into the skin, into the tissue. So it's a great one for immunity. It's mm -hmm. going to help you first thing in the morning, right? So it's Well, and I talked to a lady one night and she said uh, with her um, kids, and I don't want to use it on like little, little right. toddlers, but right. her kids are um, in school. She would actually take some of the Pro Shield and put it on their clothes and in their hair. Yeah, good idea. Um, and <laughs> her kids have been able to fight this this junk off. So yeah. that's just another tip. Like I said, this is a must-have one. And the great thing um, about the Pro Shield is that they also have the Pro Shield, mm -hmm. the hand soap. Love it. Yeah, which is absolutely amazing. I have it in like at everywhere in our Every house yeah. yeah it's a foaming hand soap yeah. and this is also great um we learned that uh, you can remove some like stains in your clothes yeah <laughs> pro shield is amazing yeah. to remove stains yeah. it is yeah did not know that hadn't tried that one yet um and something that the company just released back um it was in october uh -huh. is the lozenges the pro shield lozenges that um, are so good so if you are starting to feel a little something coming on you can break these out and they're so tasty they're healthy mm -hmm. you know good for you so something else to keep on hand this time of year beadlets are another one mm -hmm. I don't have those with us right yeah. now but they have the pro shield in there and little tiny tiny little beadlets so they're wonderful, especially if you're on going on a trip and you're on the airplane, that kind of thing. They're super handy because it's already pre-made for you. You just pop a couple in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, when we went to Disney World, it was a lifesaver. Yes. It kept me from getting sick. And then um, Justice just had a little bit of a bug um, the other day, and it was, I could tell, I was starting to get just a little bit of respiratory going on. I use the essentials. Um, I take this right before bed to help me sleep better. But I tell you what, um, this is a great one for respiratory. If you look up skull cap, there's a wonderful article by Dr. Axe, and it goes into all the benefits of skull cap. And um, one of the great things is it really helps break up respiratory, any mucus and things like that. It just is great to help break that up. So mm -hmm. that's a good one. Um, also great for anxiety. Mm -hmm. Take the time mm -hmm. and look up um, the. There's a article by Dr. Axe about the skull cap, and yeah. one of the things is that it helps people with anxiety. So hello, <laughs> right here. Um, it has it has truly helped me, and also helps people with insomnia. So I am mm -hmm. sleeping so much better. So so many benefits with that, and it tastes like a pixie stick. I know, so it's like candy. Yeah, right before I, bed. Right, that's crazy. I that's know awesome. that's like. Not oils or anything, but it's just right. very beneficial, and we it had to is. throw that in there. Well, there's no doubt. Like, I literally would have been coughing and waking mm -hmm. up at night, and I took that, and I was like, oh, my goodness. It was like it stopped. Yeah. So it was just phenomenal. Um, definitely opened my eyes. And then, hey, just wanted to give you, because this is an oil we don't really mention a lot, but Atlas Cedarwood, I found diffusing that has been super helpful, and then even rubbing um, some on the chest, just like you would... Um, you know, a chest mix rub uh -huh. or something like that, but this is all natural. So this breaks up mucus as well. So good stuff. And it smells really good. Really yeah. Kind of calming, right? Yes, because yeah. that, um, the mm -hmm. Atlas Cedar Wood helps people that with stress. If yeah. you're stressed out, um, that's a good one. And that reminds me I'm about out of that and I need to order it. <laughs> yeah. Don't run out. Yeah, don't run out. <laughs> the, and the Pro Shield, another tip how you can use that is if you're starting to feel something come on, rub it on the bottoms of your feet mm -hmm. and then put some socks on. 
um, you know, before like you go to bed at night. And if you're like me, I hate sleeping with socks on, but if I start to feel something coming on, then it's worth it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, and you, people always ask this, why the feet? Why do you rub on your feet? Um, <laughs> well, just, you know, that feels good, but also, um, your feet are reflexology mm -hmm. points, just like your hands, just like your ears. Um, so they're great locations for, to, to basically get to the whole body, yes. right? So it's a great way to reach the whole body through one little area. And so, um, I know Dr. Penwell taught us one time to put mm -hmm. it on one foot and then rub your feet together. <laughs> and so, um, that's one way to do it. It's kind of a fun. It's kind of awkward and I usually end up like falling over <laughs> and look like pretty much an idiot, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. I have like this whole ritual. I have oils by my bed. And so when I get ready to go to bed, I have oils that, you know, I'm putting on my ears and yes. rubbing on the bottoms of my feet. And of course, when I first got into this, I think my husband probably thought that I was a little crazy, but <laughs> now it doesn't even phase him. No, <laughs> they know we're crazy. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> but um, we do have some blends to share with you yes. that um, are really good. We've got a one that's called a Crud Buster Rollerball Blend, and mm -hmm. I forgot to grab... We're, like, on the ball today. Can't you tell? <laughs> we, it's, it's been kind of crazy. Yeah. We've been running like crazy. Um, but yeah. it's a roller bottle. You know, they're usually about yay big. Yeah. <laughs> it's 10 milliliter. Um, <laughs> it rolls on. <laughs> yes, it's a roller bottle. Um, we'll have one next time, we okay? Will. We promise. We um, promise. So you can... Uh, it's you use five drops of the Pro Shield. Five drops of tea tree, uh, three drops of lemon, three drops of oregano, and then you top that with fractionated coconut oil. And I had that, but I don't know what I did with it. But fractionated coconut oil is a liquid version of just the solid coconut oil. Correct. Okay. Yeah, so, is, yeah. So you just top that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to apply that to like the bottoms of your feet, um, on your spine. So, and the yeah. important thing is when you are using the oils to, um, as soon as you have a sniffle or right. anything like that, take action. Right. Don't, Don't wait. wait. Don't wait. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you started to feel a little something coming on and you're just like, no, oh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. No. And then next thing you know, it's like, you're so far gone. Right. So the thing is with the oils, have the ones you need on hand and take action immediately. Right. And continue even after you feel yes. better for a couple days, continue for a yes. couple more days, right? Because, because it can lay dormant and right. then it's going to hit you all over again. Right. Don't let it get you. <laughs> and so then we have, um, you can take that blend. Um, you can kind of cut down the oils a little bit. Yeah, probably three to four drops yeah. of each one of those and put them in your veggie capsule. Um, those are just literally clear capsules that you open up and put your oils in. Yeah. Um, because of, so like you are. said, because there's oregano in there, make sure you've used some sort of carrier oil with it. Um, even olive oil would work, you know, if you don't have the fractionated coconut oil. So, but yeah, fractionated coconut oil if you do. So that is an excellent mm -hmm. thing. I know I do that quite a bit. Just mm -hmm. to, and, and sometimes I'll do that one, the one that you mentioned there, and then the other one, um, maybe 30 minutes to an hour later. So when you're dealing with respiratory, you're trying to affect the immune system in a big way. So the one with the lap or the pro shield, the tea tree, the lemon and the oregano, that's gonna help your immune system. Um, the other one is um, basically what I call your natural antihistamine. Um, it's, it's lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Just three drops of each mm -hmm. in a little capsule. Um, I've even heard of people putting them into water and, and kind of downing it, but it doesn't taste the greatest, just to let you know. So capsules are wonderful, right? But that one will help break up the mucus again, and it will help to keep you from draining and all that stuff that nobody wants to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like I said, those are kind of good to kind of piggyback together. Um, when you're dealing with respiratory crud. Mm -hmm. right? And I will say that one time, I think it was, oh gosh, I guess it's been over a year. I think it's actually like a year in November or something like that, that I did get hit with some of that crud stuff mm -hmm. going on. And I was able to knock it out all naturally. Yeah. I mean, I think That's I had, I mean, I was, I was tired, you know, I didn't feel great or whatever, but I didn't use 
any over-the-counter medications. I did not go to the doctor. It was right. all natural. Yeah. I increased my intake of Moringa, yeah. and then I went to work with my essential oils and was able to, you know, fight through it. So, and you know, like we said in the last video we did, we are not saying that you don't ever need prescription medication. Right. That's right. not the case. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes we're too quick to go run to the doctor to get something when there's uh, all natural ways that you can use to help combat what you're dealing with. So, Right. A lot of doctors would tell you that a lot of the things they're seeing in the office right now are not bacterial infections. So giving an antibiotic isn't gonna really mm -hmm. benefit too much, so, um, or at all. Mm -hmm. So definitely, the more you can do at home, you know, the bone broth soup is excellent, and drinking lots of water, and your moringa, and mm -hmm. getting sleep, and decreasing your stress levels, all those things are so important. Um, the other thing is diffusing, right? Yes. So kind of what I love about all this is you can layer these oils, like we talked about using the roller bottle, and um, ingesting with some capsules and now you can even diffuse and so if you do have any respiratory go going on that's gonna really help to 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 basically breathe it in and get it in the lungs mm -hmm. um, so good for our immune system and just breaking up all mm -hmm. the mucus, right yeah but you can um, diffuse whichever ones you want but like she was mentioning the lavender lemon and peppermint are excellent to help with respiratory or soothing air that's yes one, right? I love Lomeo. soothing air yeah that one has like rosemary yep. and you Eucalyptus and so peppermint, yeah, frankincense. Yeah. Um, they say that one is good uh, for people that snore. Oh my even <laughs> and I will awesome. say that I yeah. that's one that I will usually diffuse at, in the at night while we're sleeping. And my husband sometimes can snore. <laughs> and I did. I didn't realize how well it was working until I had run out and I noticed he was starting to snore a little bit more. Okay, wow. So that's a really Worked. good one if you yeah. have a loved one that is <laughs> snoring. <Yeah. laughs> Don't even tell them what you're doing. Just sneak it in the diffuser. They'll never know. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, I like that idea. That's good. Um, and there's another use for the soothing ear. It's great for muscle soreness because of the rosemary and eucalyptus. So you can, yeah, mm -hmm. get a dual effect there if you had some achiness because of the flu or whatever mm -hmm. is going on. Um, yeah, you can use it on your sore muscles too. So it's a good there's so, like I said, there's so many yeah. great uses for oils, and yeah. we know that it can be very overwhelming, especially in the beginning. Um, I know for for me when I first got started, I was like texting Bobby and I'm like, um, hey, what can I use for this or whatever? You've got to get this book. Yeah. It's the Evidence-Based Essential Oil Therapy by Dr. Scott Johnson. Um, he's on that. the advisory board with um, Ameo and stuff and he's he's brilliant. And, and this book is yeah. makes things so simple. Right. Um, Anything you can think of is yes. probably in there. Yes. You know. There's things that I've like just gone through out of curiosity and I'm like, huh. That, I guess it kind of shocks me that something will be in there. But, yeah, I have yet to find to have somebody ask me about something and not be able to find it in that yeah. book. I had a lady ask me about PTSD this morning, and I thought it kind of goes along with what we're talking about, all the seasonal cred, just because of there's the winter blues also, mm -hmm. right? Yes. People deal with the winter blues, and I think – Especially on a day like today when it's just rainy and dreary out, yes. you know, you need something. But the orange oil was um, was the big one I saw on that. And then, of course, this has all kinds of recipes um, that you can use topically and diffuse. Mm -hmm. But there was one article I found specifically that was talking about how they used it with mice. And it just helped them to overcome a lot of fear and anxiety. I thought, how cool that wow. orange oil, one of the most least expensive oils, yes. like $10 or $12, right? And it works. Yes. I know, like, I use it to clean, and I'm like, I'm just a happy little cleaner. <laughs> clean it away, and I'm like, not usually that happy when I'm cleaning. I'm like, that is amazing. I did, I did, did a Facebook Live this morning over on my personal page, and... 
I was using um, the car diffuser and I had peppermint and orange in there. And like Bobby was saying, where we're at right now in Southern Illinois, it is rainy and dreary and it was 70 some degrees yesterday and it's like 35 today. Yeah. Um, and I had the peppermint and orange and I was just driving and I'm like, I feel good, I'm happy. And I, there's a reason why they call orange the happy oil. So. Yes, stuff. car diffuser. Yeah, got to get a car diffuser. Yeah. Um, so I think awesome. we've kind of covered everything that we wanted to cover today. Like we said, we know all this can be a little overwhelming. So reach out to us. <laughs> yes, get, your, get book. your book. You can find it on Amazon. Yeah. Um, yeah. Reach get out to us. Send a private message. We will, we will be happy to help you. Um, please share this video if you find, you know, if you have found any of this information valuable, we would appreciate it if you would help us in getting the message out there because we are a part of the natural health revolution and we are very passionate and driven to help people get their health back and their lives back naturally. Yes. So we but we need so your help. We, it's a big you know, message. it's a big message. It's a big message, and we're not that big, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need your help. Help us, please. Yes. Yeah, so Thank hit you. the share oh, button yeah. and help us get the message out there. And we will sure. love you for it yes. and appreciate for it, you for it. And we will continue to bring you information that we hope that you find valuable. And is there anything else that you can think of that we need to add? I don't think so. Um, well, one thing I do for justice, I was thinking about it. Of course, you want to diffuse. Um, I make him a little honey cookie that um, he's six now, and they say you can start allowing little ones at six years old to use little bits of essential oils. So I do about a half a teaspoon of, of coconut oil, sorry, and a half a teaspoon of honey, and I mix that together, and I just dab my finger to the Pro Shield. That's the only really one. And I, it just tastes like a, a really spicy um, honey cinnamon. And he loves that. And that really helps too. helps his immune system. Oh. So, again, with little ones, you really want to use caution. Mm -hmm. And you want to use a good book. And you want to make sure um, that you know what you're doing. But we'll help you, like you said. Yes. So, definitely contact us or get you a good book. We want to help you. And use good oils, right? Yes, talked yes. talked about that before. Use good yes. oils. Yes. Um, oh, another th tip with the Pro Shield is uh, put a drop on your toothbrush. Yes. Yeah, straps this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All kinds of bad germs there. We yes. won't even talk about all of them. Use that on your toothbrush. And it does not. Don't do more than one drop because the Pro Shield is very strong. I see. <laughs> Woo! It's hot. Yes, yes. I like it hot. Yeah. It's hot. So just use yeah. a drop. That's all it takes. Um, but d that's just another tip there. I mean, it's yeah. it's making sure you know cleans out, cleans your toothbrush, Ooh. all that. One more thing, oil pooling, right, is an oh. excellent thing to do this time of year that's super simple. You just take like a big heaping teaspoon of coconut oil, mm -hmm. and what we like to do too, add our Pro Shield to that, mm -hmm. and then swish it around in your mouth for about 10 minutes or so. Um, great time to do it is right before you take your shower yes. and just keep it in your mouth while you shower. They recommend doing it before you brush your teeth or anything. Right. For me, like I'll do it and jump in the shower, yeah. you know, Swish it around yeah. as I'm getting ready for a little bit. Don't spit it down your sink. Don't do not don't. do that. And don't swallow it. <laughs> yeah, don't do that because no. <laughs> because if you swallow it, you're just swallowing all those toxins, toxins. back into your body. Right. And then if you put it down your sink, then you could possibly clog your drain because exactly. I mean when it's the when you put the coconut oil in your mouth, it goes to liquid. But then if you spit it out into your sink, it's going to get solid, mm -hmm. and then it could possibly clog your drain. Right. So don't do that. Just right. spit it in the trash can. Right, so if you have sensitive teeth or any kind of gunk going mm -hmm. on, the oil pulling is excellent. Yes. Do that. It's so easy. Yep. So. All right. All righty, then. I hope think that now happens. we... <laughs> yeah, we're good now. Yeah, hopefully we didn't uh, overwhelm you all too much, but like I said, just uh, message, message us, and we will be more than happy to help you. And if there's um, any 
specific things that you want to learn on about oils, comment here or message us because we are working on a series of videos to help educate all of you better. So Yeah, and if you could do one more thing, just let us know if you are watching the live, yep. a one in the comments. Yep. If you are coming back and watching it as a replay, put a two in the comments yeah. for us. That just helps us to know who we're reaching and when. Yeah, and we just want to say thank you all thank so you. much we for, for joining us, and we really appreciate it. And for those of you that share this, um, thank you so thank much. You. And we are here to help you and um, reach out, like I said, reach out to us and, you know, become a part of the natural health revolution with us. Because this it's thing, it's, yes, it's a great cause, it's growing, and you know what? Life is so much better when you feel good. That's exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, so, that is exactly yes, right. We so, want to help more people feel good yes. and be able to reach their full potential. Yes, yeah, so we are boldly asking you to join us on this journey. Right. So we will talk to you all soon. Blessings. Have a great day. Bye.